What do you make of Elon Musk being in Israel right now, like surveying the damage and that sort of stuff? Well, actually, I think it's a, it was a really good move for him to do that. How come? Um, because I think he needs to go over and see what's happening. I know there's been a lot of controversy about the retweet yeah. and, and all of that. I think in order to be informed, it's good to go where it's happening. To a lot about. of people think it's a PR move because he has been recently accused of anti-Semitism. Well, what, he's still going to learn something yeah. if he goes there, whether it's a PR move or not. So I think it's really smart of him to do Well, it. what about on the Israel side? Like, why is Netanyahu taking time out of his busy schedule right now to hang out with Elon Musk and show him, like, what's in it for the Israelis? Well, you'd have to ask Benjamin Netanyahu that, but I think he probably gets something out of it. Listen. Regardless of what you think about Elon Musk, what he says, what he does, his actions, he's consequential to the history of the country. Oh, God, yeah. Look at what he's done for EVs, for electric vehicles, for batteries, for you know, for space, for satellites. He's an important person in this country. So I think it would it behooves Benjamin Netanyahu to meet with him. Like I, I think it would behoove any world leader to meet with, with Elon Musk. And last thing, should he then also survey the damage that Israel has inflicted? Should he go to Gaza or the West Bank or somewhere like that to see what's going on there? I think he should go wherever it's safe and wherever they they allow him to go. But I, I would I would think, not knowing the situation, because I haven't been over there, I think he should probably see as much as possible Gaza and Israel. 